Right, thank you so much, Bruce. This is a story that's positively jacked. You know, Wolfson Children's Hospital Bass Tournament took place this past weekend. It's a huge event to raise, raise money for the hospital. So joining me now, of course, we've got the winners, Adam Newburn and John Mobley, who are going to tell us a little bit about how you guys reeled in some of those big catches. Yeah, we had a, uh, we just had a really good tournament. The, the Wolfson's tournament is, I think it's the 28th year that, that we've had it. And it's just something that we do. We, we make sure that we fish every year. And uh, you know, it's just it, it's such a good tournament for a good cause to help support the uh, the local you know children's hospital. And it, Adam and I have been fishing together for two years now. And uh, you know, it, it, we started really honing our skills and, and really putting in our time, and uh -huh. it kind of all paid off. Uh, we started what was the out biggest fish that you guys caught. Uh, it was somewhere between seven and eight pounds. Oh, we, wow. we never actually put it on the scale to find out the exact weight. But uh -huh. It, it was somewhere between seven and eight pounds. That's incredible. Jeez. Yep. So how do you guys reel in such a big fish? I see some of the bait that you guys have here. Explain what it is. It, it, it all has to do with different different baits you use. You use different line, you know, size. If you're going for um, deep water, you want to use a smaller diameter line, mm -hmm. get deeper. If you're fishing, you know, heavier cover, if you're fishing grass or structure you want to go with a heavier line so okay so are those the different ones that you guys yes, have there explain actually. those three that you have in your hand john if you want to hold yep. one of them this right here is a um bomber it's called a fire tiger mm -hmm. it actually it, it dives eight to ten feet oh wow it when you use a smaller diameter line it, it gives you the ability to get you know deeper in the water okay therefore it's a, it's a searching bait it goes off the bottom bounces off everything and it, it finds the fish, and it's very good about getting in good depths and where, where the fish are. Okay. This one right here is a uh, just a typical Texas rigged worm is what they call it. This is just a little black and blue tail, uh, curly little tail worm it's right here. It's yep. <laughs> then this is what we did uh, a lot of our damage on this this past weekend, and you see it's uh it's got the hook stuck in there so it's weedless. You can throw it in, in weeds or in, in uh, wood and stuff, which is what we caught some of our fish on, and, and you won't get hung up. Um, right here, I've got a couple other baits. This bait right here is, is called a trick worm. It's made by Zoom. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a really good uh, a staple, basically, for Florida. You can fish it without a weight or with a weight. This one right here is called a Senko. It's made by Gary Yamamoto. It's a... Uh, you can fish it weightless or with a weight, but what it's special about it is as it's going down, it's got a lot of salt in it, so it's heavy, and it wiggles on the way down. And this one right here is a, uh, it's called a speed worm. This is a, the watermelon red color, which is a really good color for Florida. Mm -hmm. um, basically, it's, it's just got like a little, little tail right there that flaps, and you reel it in, and it looks like a little, a little swimming worm right there. So these three baits right here, along with this black and blue uh, curly tail worm, are really good baits for in Florida. So why not live bait? You know, I see a lot of people using the live bait, you know, the pieces of fish or the shrimp or... It's just the, the tournaments are artificial only. Mm -hmm. So whenever you do artificial, you know, it's more of a challenge. Gotcha. Um, live bait, it's, you know, there, there's more room for, for air and you could kill the fish actually more with live bait. They swallow hooks, things of that nature. but. It, it's more of the sport to do it. It's a catch and release tournament. You know, we try not to kill any fish. Mm -hmm. So it's, that's, um, that, that's our main objective. Such a good cause. So I hear this year you guys raised $300,000 at the Bass Tournament. I think it was a little bit more than that. It was closer to $350,000. That's and, incredible. Uh, yeah, and the, the tournament is it's really awesome for what it does for the Wolfson's Children's Hospital. It, you know, for us as fishermen, it, it's something that we strive for. Mm -hmm for pretty much your whole life to win this tournament at least once. And for both of us, to, we've partnered up now for the last couple of years, and to win it before we're 30 years old, man, it really means a lot. And it's, you know, it's, it's, it's really prestigious and something to be proud of. All right. Well, if you'd like to share this interview with a fishing enthusiast, we'll post this interview on the Morning Show page, of course, for newsforjacks.com. Such a great cause that's going to help a lot of kids out there. Absolutely. At Wilson Children's Hospital.